The aspect of player development has some important details that needs to be emphasized. First, you have to understand your player's strengths and weaknesses. And you have to analyze how to maximize their potential in order for them to contribute to their team accordingly. In this video, you will see Emilia Cristograva perform different fundamentals of the game, display her strengths and go-to moves that allowed her to successfully contribute to the team this season. Footwork is an important aspect to a player's game. It helps with balance in every aspect of the game, whether it's getting your shot off, having good balance on your shot attempt, or creating space from the defender. You will see within this segment of the footwork series, our forward Amelia Krista Grava show different footwork within different facets of the game. Good footwork is fundamental basketball. Here, Amelia does a good job of landing on two, creating great balance for her as she attempts her shot. Landing on two on the catch allows you to have good balance, power, and rhythm on your shot attempt or attacking the rim. Amelia scored the ball in a variety of ways this season, and what helped with her success was her footwork. As you see, whether in the half court or transition, Amelia does a good job of maintaining balance on her shot by landing on two on the catch. As we move forward here in this clip, Amelia does a good job moving without the ball. Her ability to land on two allows her to establish her pivot with either foot as she looks to attack the rim. She catches on balance, creates space from the defender, and finishes at the rim. When teaching footwork off a one dribble, two dribble, or no dribble pull up, the emphasis is pivoting off your inside foot as you catch and shoot. The cue used for this teaching is one, two with your feet after you catch and gather with the ball. As we go through these clips, Amelia displays this footwork off of one dribble, two dribbles, or no dribble. Being efficient with your dribble is something that is always emphasized when getting your shot off. As you look at a few more clips in this segment, you can see Amelia's balance and rhythm on her shot attempts. Countless reps and time was put in by Amelia to perform this footwork efficiently and effectively. The jab is a good fundamental move within the game that allows you to create significant space from the defender to get your shot off. 
the forward jab or side jab is taught in this instance to create this space. One important aspect when performing this fundamental move, the jab step, is first establishing your pivot foot. Once your pivot foot is established, you want to make a sharp, quick movement with your foot toward the defender to create the space. If the move is performed effectively, your defender will be off balance, which allows you to get your shot off with great balance and rhythm. As we move to our footwork series on the block, you will see different footwork performed along with other moves to create space and balance as Amelia takes her shot. First, on the block, there is an emphasis of posting up on the second hash mark, fielding for the defender, and attempting to gain an advantage on them. In these particular clips, the defender is playing straight behind on Amelia. With the defender playing behind Amelia, she is taught to face up because one of her strengths in her game is the mid-range jump shot. When the guard delivers the ball inside, Amelia is taught to step to the ball and reverse pivot or forward pivot to create space from the defender. When she performs one of these moves with her feet, you will notice on the catch she is on balance, the ball is in triple threat, eyes at the rim, and she is ready to read the defender as she attempts her shot. As we transition to basic fundamentals, these moves are taught and emphasized in every workout. The shot fake and head fake is taught to create space and keep the defender off balance to have an effective shot attempt. When performing the shot fake or head fake, you want to catch the ball with good balance, have the ball in triple threat with your eyes looking at the rim, looking like you're going to shoot the ball. The shot fake involves you showing the ball to the defender as if you would shoot the ball, the shot fake or head fake should be a sharp, fluid motion to get the defender to bite. As we continue, Having your shoulders squared to the baseline as the ball is caught in the paint area is always emphasized in practice and workouts. As you see in the clips, Amelia catches the ball with two hands with her shoulders squared toward the baseline and finishes. Having your shoulders squared allows you to protect the ball from the defender and it gives you a higher percentage of the attempt being made. The jump hook is a basic fundamental go-to move on the block or paint area that needs countless reps to perform effectively. To perform this move, you want to vertically jump, and at the peak of your jump, you want to release the ball, keeping your shoulders in between the defender and the basketball, and flicking your wrist toward the basket. With this move, you want to be able to elevate off two feet with balance, and be able to elevate straight up and down as you attempt this shot.
when posting up, there's an emphasis on posting on the second hash mark, creating advantage for yourself from how the defender is guarding you, on the catch, chinning the ball as you drop step, and getting your shoulders squared toward the baseline. Creating that advantage while posting up involves you creating space with your off arm and getting the defender on your hip based on how they guard you. If you perform these fundamentals effectively, the advantage that you created allows you to drop step on the catch and score the ball. The fadeaway move is a jump shot taken while jumping backwards away from the basket. The goal of this move is to create space from the defender, which allows the shot to be harder to block or contest. This move was taught to Amelia because of her strong mid-range game, her accuracy in the painted area or that area, and her exceptional footwork, balance, and strength she has in her legs to get the shot off. This is a lower percentage shot, and it's not for everybody, for sure. However, with countless reps, time spent practicing this move, and you have a special player, you will see effective results, and it is hard to guard. As we go through these clips, Amelia will perform this move, shooting over her left shoulder and her right shoulder, and creatively using the footwork taught to her to create space, rhythm, and balance on the shot attempt. As you see, the shoulder fake taught to Amelia to go back the other way is used to fake the defender and create more space to get the fadeaway shot off. The up and under move is a counter that consists of two parts, a shot fake, which is the up, and a step through, which is the under. First, the player with the ball fakes a shot by putting the ball above their head as if to take a shot. And when the defender jumps in attempt to block the shot, the offensive player steps by her and attempts a clear, uncontested shot. Amelia does a great job of showing the ball and stepping through and finishing at the rim. When performing this move, either on the move toward the block or posting straight up on the block, Amelia is taught to meet the pass and catch on two. With no hesitation, half spin dribble toward the baseline away from the defender to get a clear shot attempt. Amelia, again, has exceptional footwork. She lands on both feet, pivots off the correct foot, and uses the reverse layup in the paint to score.